John, how did you come up with the idea of Mapleworth Murders? Well, I was trying to come up with ideas for myself to be in a show and I had huge writer's block. And my wife, Sue said, why don't you think of something for Paula because she's the funniest person we know. And I went away and five minutes later came up with this idea that she would play a murder mystery um, novella writer, um, much like Murder, She Wrote. And then uh, pitched it to Paula and she immediately said yes, because it just fell into place of, she's just, she is this character. It's not a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail might wear a little bit more uh, controlling undergarments because I don't wear girdles, but I'm kind of Abigail with lo a little bit longer hair. And John, you know, um, can you please describe your character, this bumbling cop? Uh, I love playing a character who is very um, clueless and also clumsy. And also, once again, not too far away from myself. Uh, <laughs> he just has a mustache. Um, but we just always thought that Gilbert playing off of Paula, this, this low status, clumsy goof with Paula's high status um, murder mystery solving kind of thing would be a fun thing to play with. And it, it was just very close to our own relationship, really. And then we added the crush in there, the sort of dead end crush he always has for me as, as a fun thing to play throughout. The crush is amazing. It's hilarious. And there are some amazing guest stars in the show, including Maya Rudolph and Fred Armisen, Jack McBriar, and the list goes on. How were you able to bring on these amazing guests onto the project? Well, luckily we, we've worked with most of those people uh, and have known them for years. One of the main core things was we just wanted to do stuff with our friends and have it be fun people doing funny stuff together. And we just wrote the parts for these people and then they said yes.